Hello, I'm Silas Gibbs with Duotech Services, and I'm here with Sarah Loeffler, one of our mechanical engineers. And you might be wondering, well, you guys do electronics repair. Why do you have a mechanical engineer? We actually have uh, two mechanical engineers that work here. Um, so why, Sarah, do an electronics shop want to have a mechanical engineering team? So one of the reasons why mechanical engineering is so important in an electronics shop is that electronics obviously need something to go in. They need something... They need um, enclosures, they need uh, screws and things to hold them down and to uh, keep them secure in whatever environment that they're being held in. So for a mechanical engineer, um, a couple of the things that they have to work with is knowing um, what, where the cables will be going, what kind of cable routing will happen, um, and you need to know um, in a given space where your cables will be rounding through. Um, so, you know, you need to know the space, you need to know the tolerances for the um, wire bundles or um, things like that. And um, with that, you also just need to know that the assembly of all of the electrical things will stack up together. Now, when you're working in those uh, spaces and constraining things, um, who dictates what things have to fit into? Um, basically, some of it is um, for the electrical engineers to tell us, well, what kind of board, what, what size board do you need, what kind of connectors um, do you need on this assembly, and what needs to hook to those things. Um, so your enclosure is, is kind of moved around by that and by the limitations of where this enclosure is going. For instance, if it's going in an airplane in a specific spot, it needs to um, fit those dimensions and tolerances for that. Sure. Now, so um, even electrical things have to be mechanically realized. So we've got to fit those things together. Um, and as we bring those pieces together, looking at them in the scope of where they go in the aircraft, what the requirements of the electronics assemblies are, um, and what it takes to actually make something. I mean, it's very easy to design something that you can't actually make. Right, exactly. And so another part of that is we do a lot of fit checking to make sure that um, what we are designing will actually go in there before we go into some sort of production. Um, so we, we um, visualize those things in you know, solid modeling or we can um, just make mock-ups of things to know that they will indeed fit in before going forward in the production. Sure. Now, um, a mechanical assembly of an electrical component is a lot different than a, a motor or something like that. What types of uh, considerations do we have to consider when we're looking at um, electrical assemblies versus maybe bridges or something like that? Right. So um, some of that is just the fact that there are electrical components in these um, in these enclosures or in these assemblies. So you need to make sure that um, you know, you have places to ground things, you're not going to be shorting things out, you need to know what's touching and what's not touching when you're dealing with metal and electrical things. Um, and so part of that is just making sure you have a lot of clearance around your electrical components. Um, but also in the same sense, they have a lot of uh, thermal aspects to knowing like what heats up and what um, needs to be cooled. and um, Sometimes that needs to be, you know, you know, certain conduction cooled, convection cooled, like there are different ways to do that. And so all of that's very important. Sure. And in uh, our previous episode, Daniel and I in our What's Relevant talked about um, cooling and different methods of it. And definitely it is our mechanical engineering team that lets us be able to handle some of those things um, as well as we can. Now, when we look at these different designs, what, what types of things do you use to make these, you mentioned solid models or uh, fit checks and things like that? Do you get the big drafting pencil and the paper out? No, not, not anymore. We, um, we luckily have a lot of uh, computer simulated um, programs where we can actually model our designs in three dimensions and then kind of roll it around and play with it and make sure um, it, it all you know, goes together in assembly or um, if we need to change it multiple times, we have that capability. So solid modeling is a very um, 
a very good tool for just in the design process, making sure like you, you're getting all your ideas in one place and um, it'll, it'll fit in your designated assembly, so to speak. Sure, now are you guys limited to building and designing electrical assemblies? No, no, we, um, we definitely, we can do almost anything. We, we can do big assemblies of giant machinery um, with, you know, big motors and, and gears. And you can actually, in the assemblies, mate things to the way they would actually move um, in an assembly. So, you know, um, you know, if you, you're, you set your set distances for different things, you can actually move them in the assembly to know that it will actually do what, what you think it'll do. Now, once you've built these models, what else can you do with them in the computer system? So you can also, um, you can use uh, some sort of CAM software that will actually bring you from a CAD model to real life, to real, real life metal. And so uh, CAM is a tool that you can use to actually tool out um, what you're going to put in a CNC machine. And it basically will write the G code for you so that you can, um, you know, put your piece of metal in there, set it up, press go, and it, and it cuts the whole thing. And that's really um, unique and really valuable in the sense that um, it's not G coding all by hand. You know, it takes a little less time because you're kind of picking you know, graphics and stuff that you know, like this tool is what I want to use and this is where I want to cut it and these are the levels I want to use. And um, it will actually simulate that so you know um, this is what I'm cutting away and if you, you know, you see something that's not right, you can catch that before you go ahead and put that in the machine and, you know, find out later. Sure. So from conceptual design, um, planning process, all the way up through realization of the product. You guys are part of making sure that those things are possible. Right, yeah. And that's a, a key aspect of what Duotech does because we have the electrical team and we have the mechanical team working together. We're able to solve the problem from end to end, uh, finding the space in the aircraft to put that thing um, or wherever your system needs to go and then making sure that it can come together in a way that's buildable and realizable. Uh, for any questions or looking for help on your projects, uh, visit our website at duotechservices.com or follow us on Twitter.